Hello and welcome to today's, well actually tonight's bloggy thingy. Um, the reason I have this post-it on my head is not only to symbolise all the glue all over my body parts, but also as it is, sorry, computer being weird, it is also the plan for this blog. Um, yeah, I know you just don't like having plans, but it's because I had like this really amazing thing planned in my head, but then I forgot it. So then I suddenly remembered it, started jumping up and down, and then decided to write it down quickly before I forgot again. Okay, so um, as you can see, I have my hat back on. And that is because I've really noticed a lot of blogs, bloggers, often wear beanie hats. And yeah, this is, is this a beanie? I don't know, it's got ear flaps and pom pom. So I'm not sure if it is a beanie, but still. And um, one in particular guy who often knows is the great Charlie McDonnell. And um, in his, you may remember if you've looked at all my blogs that one of them was um, a reply to his, the one of his about Doctor Who. And in it, I meant he mentioned the episode The Unicorn and the Wasp. And I mentioned how, and he said it was rubbish, and I said, how it wasn't. And, um, I now know that not only was it not a rubbish episode, but it wasn't total rubbish at all. It was true. Yes, I know I sound totally insane, and I probably am, because it isn't really true. What I'm saying is that the bionic, amazing alien wasp in the program, so itchy where I had all the... Uh, sorry. Um, in the program, was in my dining room, a few months ago. I've been meaning to tell you about this for a very long time. What happened was, um, I'd been working in the dining room, which is my study, and so was my sister, she was with her tutor, and uh, suddenly we heard this wasp, and it was buzzing really loudly. We hit it so many times, so hardly. Well, I, I say we, it was my sister's tutor. She got up on the chair and everything and hit it. So many times, at such hard power, but it just, it, it would not die. No matter how many times we hit it, no matter what we did to it, it would not die. Eventually we managed to get it out the window, but the fact was that it kept, it, it like, it fell to the ground stuff, but flew back up alive. It's like, what, how is this thing still alive? We've just potentially killed it and yet it's still alive. It it, it it made no sense whatsoever. And um I thought it was kind of quite cool. It's like the way it just didn't die. I described it in quite a boring way, sorry, my whole face is now getting itchy. My head is so sore. Yeah, I shouldn't go on all but I have. Um and um yeah, it's, it's kind of funny when thing, things happen like that, when you, you assume they're going to die, and then they, they just don't. And a uh, similar thing happened on Sunday night, actually, just before the X Factor final. My best mate was around. We were playing on the Wii, and um, we were playing on Wii Sports. I haven't played on, in it for years, you know, because we've bought all the newer games and stuff, and that's just the one that comes with the Wii. But um, when teaching how to play to a five-year-old, or six-year-old, we realised that, actually, he's only seven. We realised that it's one of these games, we got it out and played again and that yeah, well, like it again. But we managed to play for the first time ever two player boxing because we recently bought another num truck. My mum thinks that's the most hilarious word in the world. Num truck. Num truck. Yep. And um so we were we were fighting each other, me and my best mate. And um I he was on one and I was on like I don't know, say there's ten, I was on seven lives. And um, he couldn't hit me. No, so how many times he went, or, you know, whatever it is. I look really stupid doing that. And ah, I ha, ha, didn't. But um, he, he just wouldn't hit me. And um, I, I laughed so much at the way he was getting angry that I had to run into you next door to the toilet. <laughs> Probably TMI there, but it was absolutely hilarious, just as with the bionic wasp. And uh, I know I insanely somehow managed to find a connection between those two stories. And there you go.
Before I go, I'd just like to show you my checkerboard hat. Hang on, I showed that in the last one, didn't I? Yeah, but it's sort of fading now. And it's sort of, if you, as you can see, it's sort of fading. And I really wanted to go to school tomorrow and show everyone. Yep, it's quite cool. Oh uh, yeah, um, I'm whispering, shouldn't whisper, should I? Volume on this doesn't quite work. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say actually. Um, sorry, I realised today when watching back one of my videos that I never increased the volume when editing, so you can, you probably can't really hear what I'm saying, and I'm apologising about that. Um, the hospital blogs, I all increased it. But I still think I'm going to increase this one to the most that it can be increased as it is rather quiet. For some reason, again, I'm not looking at the camera for most of this. I don't know why. Um, just sorry, yeah. And I'm fidgeting a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't know why. Don't want to find razors either. Yep. Okay. So that's it. That's all I really wanted to say. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I hate it when I think I've got a brilliant block and it just doesn't seem so good. And now I sound like I'm fishing for compliments, but I'm really not. That's me miming fishing, catching a fish, then eat it. My dad's a mimer. Try to teach me once. I'm not 